I'm doing it. <laughs> doing it. Oh my god. It's crazy. Bro, white boy orders in perfect Japanese. Shocks everyone. Oh god. I want to be disrespectful. Bro, this is fried chicken that we just got out of 7 Eleven, dude. We were, oh my god, look at this cussy. One man pumping that cussy full of the goodness. You can't see how much I'm soy facing, thankfully, because I'm wearing this mask. What's up, folks? I'm live and alive, coming to you from Tokyo, Japan. That's right. Let me tell you something, folks. I fucking love this place. I might just stay here forever if they let me. I mean, if the Japanese authorities are watching, that's a joke. Uh, please don't arrest me, or at least arrest me. But that would mean that like I have to kind of stay here forever. Traveling to Japan, number one problem. It's like a 13-hour flight with you know a, a what 17-hour time zone difference. It's not great. It really, really your mind up you're like you feel like you've time traveled oh my god we're in a subway station it's got 7,000 bit rate that's fucking bananas we're currently on our way to go to an electronic shop because we need a bunch of electronic equipment that we need to purchase to make sure that we have a desktop stream this is going to be the exact opposite of a logan paul style fan <laughs> excursion where we're going to be like extra courteous yeah overcorrect. And follow the fucking rules okay to a goddamn team because we love rules out here i like transport in japan means to be quiet otters yes Okay, here we are. Dude, it's so... Dude, it is so... It smells great in here. Like, it's just like, first thing that immediately hits me inside of the Japanese subway station is the smells. Now, what I mean by that is there is a remarkable lack of scent in here. And it is insanely clean, out of control clean. Okay, it's awesome. This is a Japanese vending machine. They are pretty much everywhere on the street. And honestly, they all have like random shit. Things that I've never, like what the fuck is a Fibe Mini? What is that? If it's in red, then the drink's hot. That's warm? Are you sure that's warm? I'm about to find out. I don't think that's the case, bro. Oh, it is warm, what the fuck? <laughs> it's warm. What is this? Calorie Mate, Cafe Au Light. I'm gonna get that one. Okay, actually, I want the. the <laughs> you want me to buy you a yes, drink? Yes, I want the Phoebe Mini. Are you guys seeing this? Is Chad seeing this? Yes. I'm buying you a drink after yeah, I bitch, gave you're you 100 fucking, bucks. You're fucking your caked up. You're caked up. <laughs> Just do it. You're robbing me for everybody. Okay, I wanna. Whatever that is. I don't even know what that is. It just looks crazy. I want it. And then I want the ca calorie mate, too. <laughs> <sighs> right. What is this? <laughs> Try it. Okay, hold the <laughs> taste first test. Okay. Taste test Big Man in Japan episode one <laughs> taste test. Phoebe Mini. <laughs> you want to shake it? <laughs> no, no. Don't oh, risk it. Don't risk that. <laughs> it says 6,000 milligrams. Of what? I don't know. It tastes pretty good. What it tastes like? Describe it. It's sweet. Yeah. And like, it has like a type of berry in it. I think our train is coming. Trash can right there. Oh, yeah, let's go. That was refreshing and delicious. Itadakimasu. We're getting on the train. It's a beautiful gym. Okay. It's Holy shit. We're gonna have three stops. Okay. Oh my god. Two stops. It's a it's number six. It's so quiet. It's fucking crazy. What the fuck? Holy shit. What's my bit, right? The next stop is Nopoki Inchomen, N5. We have better bit rate in here than we do in any Los Angeles, California city. We're underground right now. With better bit rate, I'm losing my fucking mind. God, I love this fucking how much I'm soy facing, thankfully, because I'm wearing this fucking mask. Because if I wasn't, I'd be like this. The 
entire time I'm fucking bat chesty. I'm, I'm losing my mind. It's like, <laughs> isn't it wonderful to live like live American, live like Americans, so that we can appreciate. So that it. yeah, <laughs> so that when you go to Japan, you like treat Americans come to Japan and treat public transit like Japanese people treat the Empire State Building. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're like, wow, well, this is a cool historical artifact. Like, <laughs> I'm over it's here. I'm over here looking at this shit like <laughs> we got internet uninterrupted internet down there in the fucking train It makes me so angry because you bet your fucking ass if we were the ones that got hit We would not have these kind of amenities. Do you understand me? <laughs> the only issue I have so far is that like I need I feel like when you're going when you're traveling when you are traveling to Japan one thing you must do is designate a pocket specifically for your trash Unfortunately, there are not that many trash bins anywhere. Typically, like, by that to be your own. Of course. Part of the reason for why there are no trash bins in many circumstances is, of course, terrorism. That's right. Did you know that? That's the same with Turkey. If a city that you're visiting does not have trash cans in many public locations, that means someone tried to bomb it previously by hiding an incendiary device inside of a trash can. This is the quickest way to clear out trash cans in public areas. New train just dropped. New train. New train just dropped. Oh, this is a fast one. <laughs> is that where we're going? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Dude, hold on. I gotta pop out real quick. Oh, this is literally it. Oh. 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 Dude, even okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna out you for saying this. Okay. But March was like, oh my god, it's like every fucking street is like a frame. And it's funny to think about because it's not. It's just like a normal city, but to us, because we're so fucking, you know, anime brain broken and also abused by the United States being dog shit, having dog shit infrastructure, dog shit city planning, things that people take for granted, we consider to be unique. We were oh my god, look at this cussy. My man pumping that cussy full of the goodness. Oh my. Okay, so when we were getting driven home from the airport, the fucking driver, and I'm not even kidding about this, dead ass was watching Attack on Titan while driving us. Which, at that point, you're like, on the one hand, you're like, God damn, bro. Like, you kind of have our lives in your hand. But then also, on the other hand, you're like, but I respect it. You know what I mean? Like, that's cool. Like, if this is the way I go out, it's the best way to go out. You know what I mean? What the fuck? Oh, sorry. Sorry. So we must end. Is that right? Did I say it right? There's an old lady using a binocular. I was gonna try and use it, but am I? Did I say that right? Is it? Or is it must end like just to say like excuse me? Just joined in. Are you gonna cover the Austinox thread today? I don't know. What do you fucking think, dumbass? I mean, honestly, just like literally think for a second. Does it look like I'm gonna be able to cover the Austinox Aiden Ross Kick.com saga? Like, do you do you feel like I should just in the middle of a fucking Japanese electronics store? Do you think I should be talking about Aiden Ross's like right wing spiral, his right wing descent, which I unironically called? Even even though I didn't think it was gonna get this bad. And everyone was yelling at me when I fucking called it and I said like, I'm not saying he's like that now, but I'm worried about his deep dark path he's going down. Every motherfucker who like loses a shred of clout, even if they're not cloutless overall, fucking loses their goddamn minds and immediately hits the fucking right wing button. Is that what you wanna hear? You wanna hear that kind of juicy commentary, you fucking asshole? You can't get enough? You can't get enough of fucking commentary from Mr. Hasanabi that you gotta fucking have it in the middle of a goddamn Japanese excursion where I don't even know what fucking time it is, dude. This is what I got for you, okay? There you go. I hope you're happy. How the fuck do I clear all on this? Okay, I don't know how to clear all this. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, I need to clear it. Oh, God. I don't want to be disrespectful. Okay, I think this is clear enough. Okay, alright. Fuck. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Oh god, oh shit, oh fuck. Holy shit. Okay, are you guys ready for this? Convenience stores, unless you're like a, you know, a big Wawa guy, unless you have uh, experienced the beauties of Wawa, you probably are thinking, Hassan, why the fuck are you going to a convenience store? Well, the reason why I'm going to a convenience store in Japan is because they are very famous. The convenience stores here actually serve incredible cuts of meat in comparison to meat quality in the United States in good places. Um, so much so that from what I understand, you can eat a chicken raw here. I right? 
I'm not gonna do that either. That's disgusting, but like you can do it technically. And for that reason, people, a lot of people, come into uh, convenience stores like 7-Eleven, Family Mart, Lawson. Lawson, right? And uh, grab these quick sandwiches. We had some in this morning. I'm gonna do a taste test and grab a whole bunch. And we're gonna fucking sit down somewhere like a salaryman and uh, and chow down. Anyway, let me show you some of the craziness out here. First of all, blammo. Holy shit. Everything is crazy. Like, I guess probably because like, it's in also in Japanese, so that kind of changes the, and it makes it more different than what you would have in a normal convenience store. Oh yeah, that's another thing. You can always get drunk in public. That's allowed. This is just a regular 7-Eleven, and this is the frozen food section of the regular 7-Eleven. But, the real beauty, here are the meats. Basically, anything you get here is it's gonna be fire. It is fire, I've already had some of this shit. I wanna try the strawberry whipped cream and custard. What the fuck, I had the egg salad, that shit was incredible. I had, there's a shrimp cutlet with sauce. I'm not gonna touch that, obviously, but like, all of this is safe and also delicious, which is wild to think about when you think about gas station food. Now, of course, I am a psycho and I love gas station food. I have it in America. I usually go to the 7-Eleven and sometimes will treat myself to a chicken salad sandwich from 7-Eleven, which is kind of embarrassing, but it is the truth. I don't even know what the fuck this is. Like, it's like rice bowl, pork, and soy sauce. All right, I'm gonna get one egg salad. What is this? Look at this. Pork sausage, chili, meat filling. I saw some fucking freak of nature shit out here too. Pork ham boiling and mayonnaise. God, I love the eggs. Uh, fried chicken, soy sauce flavor, and uh, spicy. Oh, uh, yes. Hi. Dude, I'm, so, I'm doing it. I'm fucking doing it. Just roll it off the tongue, you know what I mean? Oh, man. You can't see them. Soy, so hot. I <laughs> had a Japanese soy chicken. Oh my god, it's juicy as fuck. This one I think is the. That's the good one. Oh, this is always the best one. Bro, this is like this is fried chicken that we just got at a fucking 7-Eleven, dude. It's juicy. It has the fat. And then this is the spicy one. It's not very spicy. At the family mart, I had a spicy one and a regular one. I tried both and I preferred the spicy one. Here, spicy one I still prefer, but. Well, the family chicken, the family mart chicken, that's like the staple. It's better. The rest of them are just trying to, trying to catch up. The secret sauce is the family chicken. Yeah. God damn. So far, everything has been incredible. Every frame is like a painting <laughs> in this fucking city. Sorry, I don't know. I don't care if you're fucking gonna say like orientalizing or whatever. The public transit is out of control. It's so clean, it's so swift. Trains literally come immediately back to back to back to back. And there's a lot of like courtesy, common courtesy that people follow, which make it so much better. Like it makes it a pleasant and pleasurable experience. You know, we're doing the day in the life of a true Brexit geezer, Japan edition right now, and so far it's fucking awesome. It feels a lot quieter too in a nice way, yes. Everywhere that we've been so far, there have been hundreds of people around us, but you don't even hear a fucking peep. No one is talking, no one's on their phone. We are probably the loudest, and I'm trying to be as like quiet as possible too. <laughs> oh, they're right there. Arigato! <laughs> Dude, you're so big here, man. <laughs> 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 Is that for me? Arigato Saikuno san. Chat. We're in Japan. So where are we going? Are we going to the Starbucks? Starbucks. We're going to a famous Japanese institution. Here we have listen, listen, listen. Welshman Connor Dog Virginia deciding to take us to a famous Japanese institution. I, I can't take you to any good famous Japanese coffee because there are none. They're all shit. Like yeah. Dotor's terrible. Tully's coffee's okay. Starbucks is the only good one, and it's way better than America, I think. Okay, we're we are going to Japanese famous Japanese institution Starbucks. It is actually called Starbucks. 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 Caramel macchiato. Uh, what size do you want? He's spitting. He's spitting. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm hot or cold? I'm hot the bell. What do you want, right? It's a caramel frappe. 
and a caramel frappuccino on top of it. sounds so fluid. Oh, oh my god. god. It's oh, crazy. Bro. This is wow. just like... This is just like... He's doing the Japanese. It's like white, white boy orders in perfect Japanese shocks everyone. <laughs> I'm I'm staying here. I'm gonna do, violate the law so I get arrested and stay here forever. Everything I've seen so far is so good. Yeah. People are so kind. You can walk yeah, around. Way more way more chill outside of uh, Tokyo as well. I, I haven't seen homeless tents yet. There are some. They're pretty rare. Um, and I mean, some I've of them. I've been in LA, so I mean. Yeah, <laughs> well, that's that's like hard mode homeless. I would, I suspect that. I mean, I've looked into it a little bit. It feels like um, the Japanese government has a pretty strong hold over uh, new developments. Yeah, like they do their very best to ensure that there is no like it, no one that it's is tough. devoid of shelter. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's definitely uh, there's also a lot of people who are classified as homeless who live in uh, manga cafes. You've probably oh, seen them. The, the fucking oh. uh, hikikomaris. Uh, not those, those are different. It's like, you can pay like 20 bucks and you get like a room and a TV and a shower for the night. And a lot of people live in those. Because, you know... We could live in those. Easily, yeah. Where, where's the nearest? <laughs> There's tons. There's probably like five near us. Um, they're really popular. And because in Japan, obviously, the big thing is that if you want to rent an apartment, you often have to pay like four or five months of rent up front. Which is like crazy so for a lot of people. having to pay that many months of rent up front. Obviously, if you don't make a lot. And people don't make a lot in Japan. The salaries are not great. Yeah, I've oh. seen the fucking salaries of the, the not the voice actors, but like everyone else involved in an anime. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, we had like we 10 had bucks a, an episode. We had an animator on the podcast, and they get paid like I think like two two dollars a frame that they draw or something, something like around that Where, much. Yeah. What is the most common phrase you use, like walking around? Good uh, Sumasen is pretty common. Sumasen. I saw you try to do that on stream. It was good. Try? Excuse me? You mean execute flawlessly? Okay, it, wasn't bad. it wasn't bad. What um, do you say? Just all the time. You want someone's attention, you're trying to get past them in the store, trying to like scooch past them, or just anything. Just uh, say random. Is one you say a lot. Domo is good too. Say domo. What's domo? What does that mean? It's kind of like a, kind of like a catch-all. It's like mainly thank you, but you can kind of say it. It's what like about domo arigato, of... Mr. Roboto? <laughs> <laughs> You can say that and they'll probably laugh. I don't know if uh, everyone will laugh, but some people might laugh. Uh, <laughs> He's trying to get his son in trouble. Yeah, you, <laughs> That's yeah. what it sounds like. <laughs> uh, arigato. <laughs> I, didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't, I did not. I didn't even touch it. I did not even touch it. Oh, oh. I did, I, I did touch the door, but like because my shoulders are too wide. But other than that.